Here's three very strange wind-up toys from nearly 20 years ago, I think at the year 2000 I bought some of these. These two are Japanese and the third one is a Chinese one. These are very singular toys, never seen before, never seen them again since, but they all do something very odd. This first one is very clever too. There's a little dice there and perhaps he's a god of luck or something, but when you operate it, you do that by just by pushing this bit back and it goes click, 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 then release and see what happens. And the dice flips over underneath the dome. What's happening there was, my guess is there's a little magnet turning around like that, flip, 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 flip. And this is under a dome and the magnet, the dice itself, the die has got a, a little magnet inside it. So it's being made to randomise. Very interesting, extraordinary. I suppose you could do a game and see whatever's left at the end of the little cycle. But to do that is a very, very strange idea. What the rest of this is, I can't make it out at all. But Japanese are inscrutable. This is another one from Takara, who's one of my favourite toy companies. There's a little tiny honeybee actually underneath the flower, you can hardly see it. And to operate it, you just do it by pulling the string. So we pull the string, then release. And the action is a very curious stop-go, stop-go one. I'll turn it sideways in a minute to let you see underneath the flower. But there's a honeybee walking around going, scuttle, scuttle, stop, scuttle, scuttle, stop, scuttle, scuttle, stop. Very strange. It's got a little movement all the way around the core of the flower and it's got this wonderful stop-go action and it's all done by very clever gearing inside. Sometimes I've got to look inside to see how they manage to get such lovely action. Scuttling and then dwelling, scuttling and then dwelling. Beautifully done by Takara, well done them. And the third one is just a totally wacky one. It's supposed to be an eggplant. And if you wind it up, look what happens. It's all springs everywhere. These are springs, that spring, and the bottom of the thing is a spring. Give it a good wind up. It's got a little shaking motion inside. And here's a mad aubergine. Oh. Quite mad, quite mad. Quite noisy too. Yes, what will they think of next?